When we plan for uh, product development at Hegel, we rarely look at the competition. Uh, one of the things we think is that Apple would never have invented the iPhone if they kept looking at what Nokia was doing. Typically, a project will take about 12 months from uh, conception to an actual product is sitting on the shelf in a showroom somewhere. Some products take longer. For example, the uh, H600 we're launching uh, took almost three years to create. We try to do roundtable discussions uh, where we really try to put ourselves in the customer's shoes. People are investing in high-performance quality audio products. What we are trying to look at is making relevant products for people who want to take it that one step further. Once we decide what we're going to create, it's up to the R&D team. And most of the development of our products is done using computers or the best measurement equipment that money can buy. When we think that the product is finished, like measurements and testings has been done, we take it to the listening laboratory. This is where we listen for errors or things that just didn't show up automatically in measurements. I don't know that there is an upper limit. We haven't reached it yet. Whenever we release a new product, it's always with the goal to have a better product than the previous one, if it replaces a previous product. It's always reaching the best possible sound. So for the H600 that we just released, it's got tons of new features, but that's not the important part. The important part is that it sounds a lot better than the previous model. Now, how we achieve that in my eyes as a sales guy, a bit of magic. Uh, <laughs> but the technical guys we have here at Hegel are insanely good and insanely smart. So not only can we improve upon the components that we use, but of course we do all the design of the amplifier ourselves. Everything is designed by us or Bent, who is the main magician of the analog sphere, at least, and also the DAX. We started quite early on adopting separate DAX, high quality separate DAX. Um, we were one of the first companies to put a DEA converter inside an integrated amplifier, revolutionary at the time. Uh, we were one of the first companies to, serious hi-fi companies, to introduce streaming into our amplifier with AirPlay. And this has just grown and grown. And we can do all these things because we have the know-how to do, uh, do them. Not every company has dedicated people that actually knows all these processes and can combine them. I mean, in our integrated amplifiers, uh, uh, we write our own uh, operating system. So it's our own proprietary operating system, which enables us to code on the hardware level. So we uh, don't have layers of code that we don't know nothing about that we need to pass through. We can actually code on the components themselves. And this ensures that we have full control over the whole signal path in the amplifier. And this control enables us to always push forward because we can do a lot inside the amplifier. And this is what makes us improve every time. You have to incorporate AirPlay, Apple, Tile, Rune, a lot of different things. The limit is only on the streaming module, how powerful it is. At some point, it will need an upgrade, uh, but that's way in the future. Uh, we don't know what the future holds. That's the magic of this thing. Yesterday's uh, hot uh, new streaming service might be obsolete in a couple of years, and then there's a new thing that comes along. And we made a decision quite early on that we are not streaming service provider. We do not want our own Hegel app per se that can control every streaming service. We don't want to be a multi-room source thing because so many others does this incredibly well. But we want to be the hub that connects all these. Absolutely. We want you to use your phone as you normally would. If you enjoy Spotify, okay, just press Spotify Connect and you can play music. If you have an Apple iPhone, you can do the same thing and so on and so on. And we're ever expanding this horizon as these services come along. Uh, and we try to incorporate as much as possible into our amplifiers because ease of use is at the heart of what we do. When you see a Hegel amplifier, 
it is quite a simple box. It's a black box with two knobs and a display, but inside it's quite smart. On functionality side, uh, we have the DAC loop function, which is something only we do, where you can say your the DAC inside your amplifier gets obsolete after some years, or you want to just improve with a better one, because there are better ones. They are expensive, but there are better ones. We have USB volume control, which is something we can do because we code everything ourselves. And recently we released the TV remote control function where you can take big brand name TV remote controls uh, and program the amplifier to understand their codes so that when you press volume up on your Samsung remote, for instance, the amplifier will turn on, it will turn on to the right input, the one you have connected your TV to, and you can control the volume. And this means that everyone can use a Hegel amplifier just as they would use their normal devices. The emergence of the active streaming loudspeaker uh, is really great for us as a company because it introduces high quality sound to a mass market. So the person who might have bought a headphone when he was a student, a really good noise cancelling headphone for instance, he now moves into his first apartment and he wants some decent sound in his apartment. Uh, and when he or she uh, finds that, it's usually one of these active loudspeaker systems. It's a starting point into the journey of hi-fi. But these have their limitations. They have uh, an amplifier module that is class D most probably because they don't generate that much heat and they're small. Uh, we do class AB. It's a different kind of sound. It's more agile, more punchy, more dynamics, more everything. And some class D manufacturers might say, well, that's not true because we have great class D. And that's true. There are many great class D amps. Uh, but they also come in big boxes, just as ours. Uh, they're not installed into the speakers. Um, there's a limit to how good they can be. So we see this emergence of these speakers as a great way to introduce people to quality hi-fi sound. And then they can make the jump because then they see that, okay, there is something that is better. But is there something that is better than this even? And at one point they will reach a Hegel uh, and hopefully they will stay with Hegel for a long, long time. Mm -hmm.